on the setup now for the, the guillotine choke, we're going to add in that other arm, the arm that's controlling the hip. We're going to add that back into the equation. So, go back into our half guard position. Here. Okay. So now he's holding on with this arm. And this arm can be a real nuisance because he has a lot of ability to pull with this arm and start to focus his weight more on top of me. So it's something I really have to deal with when I'm in this position, especially if he's good at heavy passes like some people are out here. Push on the side of his head, push on the, wrist, or on the wrist or the bicep. Now my left leg, I'm going to do a window wiper motion. Can you just rotate this way a little bit? That's fine. Okay, we're here. I bring my left knee across my chest and then up to his shoulder, all the way out to the inside of his bicep. This makes it so that he can no longer hug my hips with, uh, with his right arm. Now, once I'm here, I want to extend my left foot a little bit so that it's difficult for him to hold on to my thigh here. If I leave this foot too close, he'll collapse my leg and it makes it very difficult to use this knee. So I hold out a little bit. On the other hand, I don't want to extend this so far that he just slips past my leg and comes back into position. You have to find that middle ground. So once again, we're here. I'm pushing, pushing really hard at the side of his head, pushing his bicep, pushing with the top knee into his hip. Knee comes across, up past the shoulder, out to the bend of the arm, and I extend that leg enough that he can't hold on, but not so much that he slips by. Find that happy medium. Now from here, he wants to pass my guard. So the first thing he has to do is really deal with this knee. How is he going to do that? He's going to take his hand and cut my knee and then pull it past so that he can resume his grip on my hip and continue his pass. So I'm waiting for that. I bring my knee across, I come up to here. I see him cupping my knee, so I'm ready for it. I'm going to start to switch my grip here. I place my fingers behind the back of his head. When he pulls that knee, I kick to come up into the ghost knee show. Grab my wrist, fall to the side to lock it in tighter, throw this leg over top. So, we're taking his motion of pulling my leg and I'm adding to it. He pulls a little bit, I kick a lot and that's going to make it, that's going to disguise the motion so he doesn't see it coming as easily. So we're here, pushing, pushing, pushing at the hip. Knee comes across, out to the side. I get my leg in the right position where it's hard for him to stay here. He cups the tip of my knee, pulls, and I kick. Go up over the top of the neck, start across, fall to my right side, and as I fall, that wrist comes over top of the shoulder, elbow flares out, and I throw my left leg over top of his shoulder, stick my chest out, and look over my back to finish the choke. Now you also want to hold really tight with this leg on his shoulder. I had a couple questions about if he rolls. If I hug really tight here, I can roll with him. So if he rolls to his back, I'll actually roll on top of him and finish from the mouth position with the same choke. So hug with that leg as well. Any questions? No? All right, let's see you guys do it.